Simon with Season Cards going on sale from 9am tomorrow. Could you just explain a little bit about how what the club is doing this year is different to what has gone before? Yes, yeah, so if I take you back to what the, the club has done previously, um, and that's with an early bird campaign where the supporter will, uh, the, the season tickets will go out on, on sale in March, and then there'll be a defined period of time in which the supporter can purchase their ticket at the, the lowest possible rate with the early bird price. Um, then there'll be two other windows after that, but the prices would be increased, so there will effectively be an uplift in price if they didn't buy it during the early bird period. We felt that that wasn't the right model to go for this year, and there's a couple of reasons why, why we've chosen to do that, which I'll come on to in a moment. Um, uh, for next season, we are going on um, with a model where there is only one window, one sales window, um, and that will run uh, from tomorrow, and it will run all the way up to the start of the new season. Um, and the prices will be frozen throughout. Now, there was a consideration, clearly, um, with, with every club that has to go through in terms of increasing prices because of costs, uh, that, you know, in terms of running the business, but clearly, you know, there's a, an ongoing commitment from, from, from John and the ownership group to make uh, prices as affordable as they possibly can be on match days, and, and the commitment to freeze prices, again, across the board, um, has been something that's been implemented. There has, however, been one change in price, which again is uh, hopefully an encouraging step forward. Um, that is for the under 11 price, um, and that will be £23 for the whole season. Um, we've had a really, uh, we've had a really successful kids for a quid campaign at two cup games this year and by implementing the £23 season ticket um, which is a pound per game obviously in the championship we believe it obviously gives us the best opportunity to encourage youngsters to the Bet365 stadium um, and you know obviously build that family atmosphere that, that, that we're all looking for. In terms of the reason why we have made these changes we consulted at length with the supporter council and there were two main key considerations that we had to take into account. One is the cost of living crisis. So clearly that's something that's impacting everyone. Um, and we spoke you know, openly around the room about what that means for, for, you know, for individual supporters. And it became quite evident that clearly everyone has very different circumstances. There was someone in the room that you know, it would prefer, they would have preferred to buy their season ticket in March. And there was some in the room that actually it worked better for them to pay for it in July. What we didn't want to do was have a model where if that person per, want, you know, it was better, it was financially more viable for them to purchase their season ticket in July, that they weren't going to be um, financially penalised for you know, under, the, under the previous terms of the early bird window because they were buying it later into, in, into the summer. So we decided that a one window approach where the prices are frozen throughout gives people the opportunity to pick a moment that is most appropriate for them when to buy their season ticket at no increased charge and, and it's a flat price throughout which, which hopefully gives everyone greater flexibility. Uh, the second reason is, is that we're obviously as a club we're progressing uh, you know, on and off the pitch um, and hopefully everyone's has seen the, the great upturn in, in, in results recently and performances, which is fantastic. Now Alex has had a real opportunity to implement um, his style of play, which is great to see. Um, but some fans still may want to wait just to see what, you know, what kind of progress we continue to make and how this club continues to develop over the number of months. And you know, a supporter may not be in a position where they want to make that decision right now. So again, we've got to, as a club, you know, spend the next few months you know, showcasing everything, um, you know, all the positivity around around what we are looking to, to deliver on and off the pitch. And for those supporters that want to wait a little bit longer to see that those developments come to fruition, they again can uh, renew their season ticket um, in the summer months without any financial penalty at, 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 at the one price that we're putting out um, tomorrow. Can you just then provide us an update on some of the other changes that the club have been making off the field? Yes, indeed. So we've got um, we've had three, uh, you know, very senior roles that are being filled in the in the football club, for, um, you know, basically with immediate effect. Um, we've had Tom Holdcroft, who's come over um, from Nottinghamshire County Cricket Club in Trent Bridge as our head of marketing and communications. Um, it's a really important role that, you know, in terms of building, um, you know, transparent communication, building that en engagement between club and fans, delivering great content, um, clearly marketing our products, or, you know, across our portfolio. It was a big role that we felt, you know, felt need, you know, need filling in, in order to match our ambitions of what we're trying to do from a, from a non-match day and, and from a match day perspective. So uh, Tom comes with a, with a lot of experience um, in, in the sporting sector and, and we're delighted to have him on board. The second role is the head of consumer sales and operations and that's going to be filled by Craig Simmons who's had over 20 years experience in football um, and that covers the retail and ticketing department. So clearly these are areas you know again we want to drive these areas forward 
and you know we will have our, our ticket office manager and our retail manager running the day-to-day, -day, um, but Craig is going to be sitting above that in a more strategic role of how to obviously fill the stadium and, 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 and drive the retail operation forward. Just as an example, from a ticketing point of view, you know, we really want to cherish every single season ticket holder that we have. And, and it's very traditional in football clubs to have a churn at the end of each season. Um, and we lost, I think, 1,500 to 2,000 season ticket holders last year. Um, but did I think we did enough as a football club to retain them? Um, or engage with them to understand why they're leaving, to try and convince them to stay, to if they can't stay, maybe move them to a membership, um, or, or at very least, if they didn't want to do anything, that they at least felt that they walked away from the football club knowing that we'd done everything we can to keep hold of them. I, I, I didn't think that was the case. So, you know, it's, it's a big job for Craig to, to, to implement that uh, strategy going forward, but it's something that's, that's really, really important for us as a football club and, and, and to help grow our fan base, but in great, in, engage with our really loyal supporters um, season to season. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic step forward to have Craig on board. The final um, role is Anthony Emerson, who's currently been with us for a number of years under, as, as, as our SLO. Um, he also ran the group sales um, ticketing department. He will be moving into a more defined role of head of supporter experience. Now, given the investment levels that we're having across the stadium over the next few years, um, and how important supporter experience is to us as a football club and to the supporter, we believe that having someone that was completely focused on delivering that role was paramount to where we want to take um, the organisation. Um, I think a lot of venues talk about supporter experience, but they kind of leave it to a number of different people to implement that. And clearly it's not just going to be all on Anthony, it's going to be a club-wide effort. But having someone completely focused and accountable um, for delivering that and, and mapping out our strategy in that area at every possible touch point, that's not just match days, that's non-match days, that's when you're buying a ticket online. We're trying to get onto the real granular detail of, of what it means to be on the other side of the fence as a supporter in terms of how they engage with the club and, and what their experience is. And we're just really looking to improve it at every level. How excited then are you for what the future holds? Unbelievably excited. Um, I think when you break it all down it's hard not to be. Um, again talking about that investment, the, the millions of pounds that are going to be going into the stadium and the training ground over the next few years is just um, you know it's fantastic and it will elevate you know our, the environment both down at the training ground at the stadium to to be top class facilities we've already got fantastic facilities as it is but this further investment is going to take us to another level um, which is great for everyone connected to the club the investment that's gone into the women's team recently again shows the ambition of the club um, you know not just from a from a first team playing perspective or from a stadium perspective but actually as, as a whole club you know our one club approach and our and our investment into the women's team is incredibly exciting and the fact that it now falls under the stewardship of Ricky Martin as well to lead it as part of the football department again illustrates how important we you know how how important it is to the football club and and how seriously we are taking it going forward so really looking forward to seeing how that develops um, and I think you know from a football perspective I don't think anyone can deny how excited the last few weeks you know it's made the supporter base feel in terms of progress that we are making on the pitch and now Alex has had an opportunity to implement you know his style of play um, onto the first team uh, and I think that's been really evident in the, in the last few weeks and and the work that Alex and Ricky put into the January transfer window um, was you know they are those players are instrumental to our success um, in the recent period so all of that should give us real confidence about what the future holds and as a club across all different levels of you know I've only given a few examples here and there's a lot of other stuff that we will be communicating um, and sharing with supporters over the coming months that I think we on and off the pitch we've got unbelievably strong foundations for a very very exciting future and what we hope now is that the supporters hopefully can uh, can see that as well and uh, they jump on board and, and, and are with us again next season.